No, I thought it was a, a, a game that uh, we had to go and get. Um, I thought all afternoon we were trying to ask questions of them, but we got into the, probably the final third and just probably couldn't get the right contact on the board. I thought off the ball our work was good. I, th I thought apart from the chance what they had, what Jaden Brown managed to get back at, I thought our work in, to keep them in front of us and spoil any of the momentum that they were trying to build, I thought we did well. And then the goal comes second half, um, a cross comes shot. It took, looked like it took a little bit of a nick, but again, that's Jaden Brown, second week consecutive where he's contributed and assisted in us getting all maximum three points. So um, a great afternoon's work for him. And of course, defensively, the work uh, when, when the lad went clean through for him to get back on him and spoil, spoil his momentum was, uh, was excellent. How pleased are you with how quiet we kept Peterborough today? Yeah, because I think they're a, they're a good team. I really do think they're a good team. I think they moved the ball over, over good distances on the pitch. But I thought lot, we kept a lot of their work in front of us. And every time when they tried to build anything going forward, I thought we spoiled it. And when they did get in our final third, we spoke about them putting balls into our box. And I thought our 1v1 defending in wide areas was exceptional. So I thought we got all aspects of the, of the ball right today. And as I said, on the ball, we asked questions of them all afternoon in terms of getting in behind them, but we just couldn't get the final touch. Josh Windass rattled the crossbar from a well-worked free kick, which I was really pleased with. Um, but really, um, I thought overall we did deserve the three points, uh, but you still got to go and get it, and we did that. Will Volks, before the game, spoke about calmness to this side. I guess that was evident again today in the, in the patience that we showed in the build-up to the goal. Yeah, I thought, I thought there was times where the, the game was getting a bit bitty and probably a little bit of frustration because obviously the crowd can feel it and they, they want it. But we had to remain calm and we just kept uh, trusting and believing in, in the shape of the team and the progression of the team. So Volks, he was absolutely spot on and we spoke about that at half time. And as I said, you know, one thing we are as a team, Joe, we, we threaten from all areas of the pitch, central, wide, left, wide, right. Um, along the floor aerially, we, we threaten teams and it's another goal, it's another clean sheet and um, and we move on. You mentioned Jaden, it looked like he was struggling uh, going into half time but he came out looking fresh and he's, and he's got his that goal. Yeah, what Jaden will start to do is build his match fitness really in terms of he's fit, he's fit but obviously no match fitness is totally different. So he got to probably about that 60, 70 minute mark like last week and he just starts to cramping up because then wing back rolls are are a big distance to cover, but he can feel very, very happy with his game. Um, I thought he was tenacious in his work off the ball and he always offered us an out on the ball. So good afternoon's work for him and uh, we're all pleased for him. Yeah, just tell us about the camaraderie of, of the dressing room. Obviously, Jaden gets that goal and everyone looks delighted for him. You mentioned that touch um, in the second half as well and Aidan Flint was straight over to him in his ear about how great it was. Tell us about the, the dressing room and what it's like. Yeah, and that's what it is, you know, it's what we've been trying to build here and continue to build here. There's a togetherness with the group, as you can see. There's a connection with the fans, as you can see today, 27,000 here today. Thank you all the fans again for making it a wonderful atmosphere here today. And we're pleased to send them away again with three points. And, you know, we move on again together, but uh, both on the pitch and off the pitch, there's a togetherness, there's a oneness at the football club. and. Hopefully if we can still continue to get the right results in that, then we'll see that relationship continue to build.